everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So I got a little bit of static electricity going on with my hair here. So I am back with another pandemic grocery haul. You can't see it, but I'm actually surrounded by food. So um, this is my second pandemic grocery haul. I want to talk to you guys about my experience today. It's getting weird out there, depending on where you live. Certainly getting weird out here in New York. Um, as of today, which is March the 18th, the governor has said that we have the most coronavirus cases in the country, in the United States. Um, so people are panicking and they're panic buying and the government and everybody is telling us not to do that, that there's plenty of supplies of food. But then again, the mayor said yesterday that he was going to make a decision within 48 hours. So he's got another day to go of whether he was going to do a, a quarantine, uh, a shelter in place meaning that you're only supposed to travel for essential things like the grocery store, pharmacies, um, grocery store, pharmacies, banks, laundry mats, uh, you know, visiting your sick or elderly relative that may need help. So only essential travel. Um, all the businesses here, I don't want to say all the businesses are closed. Um, restaurants are closed. Places that can serve food only do, uh, can only do takeout. So anyway, let me get back to my pandemic grocery haul. So I went to the supermarket this morning uh, before work just to grab a couple of items. And I wanted to see what the situation at the store looked like. So this morning, they only had, as far as bread, they had these... Uh, rolls. These are big Marty's big oven fresh rolls. So they have these, which are kind of like hamburger buns, they're rolls, and they had raisin bread. So those were your options raisin bread or this. So I picked up this. Um, I also picked up um, three, four, five cans of my favorite tuna which I was happy to see that they had so much of it. They were selling out of a lot of the tuna, but apparently nobody likes, nobody, as far as uh, this morning wa was concerned at that time, nobody seemed to be liking the brand of tuna that I like, that I just recently discovered. Um, so I was happy about that because I was able to get my tuna. And this is a, a good staple item because it stays... Um, good for a long time. And this is the Star Kissed Solid Yellowfin Tuna with lemon and dill in extra virgin olive oil. So I had picked up five of these this morning and I wanted to get some soup. My mom, last time she went shopping a day or two ago, she was able to get Chunky brand soup um, and this low calorie Progresso chicken noodle. They didn't have any of that. I was lucky this morning to get, when I say she got chunky soup, she got it in the can. I was able to get chunky soup. I got two of these. I ate one this afternoon. I had gotten a tomato bisque and this is a sirloin burger and country with country vegetables. I'd rather get the beef and vegetables, but they didn't have that. Um, so this was really my only choice. They had some other like creamy chicken something, but and these are expensive. So the tuna is expensive. The tuna is like $2, almost $3 a can. Um, the rolls, let me tell you what the bread situation was after this. This is best by March 27th. I don't even know how much I paid for these. I don't know how much the rolls were. But let me tell you what happened with the bread later on. So I was able to get these. This soup is good until... December 9th, 2020. So I was able to get two of these microwavable soups, which I could have for lunch. So that's, that's what I got this morning. So I want to tell you about what I've been doing at work. So 
uh, kind of like a budget thing and also a pandemic measure is that um, I've been bringing my food to work with me, breakfast, lunch, snacks, um, because it's cheaper, or at least it was before this pandemic started. So I wouldn't say it's price gouging, but my supermarket definitely didn't have a whole lot of sales going on. You're paying f full price for everything, um, pretty much. So there's that. So that's a reason to bring food with you. Because t hypothetically, typically, it would be cheaper than buying food out. Um, then, where my work is located, there's not a whole lot of eat out, you know, take out options or sit down restaurant options. There's not a lot of meal options where I am. Um, and a lot of the establishments have closed and I don't know if the ones that remain open that do take out are going to stay open. So I think there's, there's only one, one establishment near my place of work that is open doing takeout. And there is also like a bodega type place where you can get like little things, but if they close, there is literally nothing around me. So coffee, snacks. Oh, and I also did get an almond milk creamer this morning for my coffee, which I left in the fridge at work and um, a diet iced tea. So I've been going to, so I've, I've stocked the fridge at work with stuff for myself on my diet iced tea, my creamer, um, my almond milk in case I, well, and I've been bringing my Cheerios with me. And this, this big, this big tote bag. And a colleague of mine is like, why are you bringing your groceries with you to work? And that's because one, save money on e eating out. And also, what if everything closes? So that's that. Now, I was not hopeful for what would be in the store after work. Now, I made sure my mom went to the grocery store today. I made, um, we kind of budget together. Like, you know, if I run a little short, I help her. If, if she runs a little short, no. If I run short, she helps me. If she runs short, I help her. So I gave her a little bit extra, um, money this morning I told her go to the grocery store and buy enough food to last you a little while just in case so when I came home uh when I went because she it's a whole big story my dog stays with her during the day while I'm at work because I don't want him in the apartment by himself because that would just be mean just to leave him alone all day and my mom is retired and she likes the company so I drop him off in the morning I go to work and then I pick him up after work so when I got home after work I was like well how did everything go in the supermarket and she was like I was only able, able to get this 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 and this and I was like well what about you know fruit and um stuff. So I ended up getting, going back to the store tonight and I picked up some stuff for her, which I already dropped off. I'll tell you about that, but let me tell you what I got. So I did pick up another bag. She forgot her fruit. They did have the snap dragon apples no longer on sale for $2.99. Like my last haul now full price $3.99 for two pounds of apples. So, and they, and the brand Rocket, in my last video, I was like, they have this Rocket brand animal, animals, apples, and Snapdragon. And I didn't know if they were the same brand or if they were one time carrying Rocket and one time carrying Snapdragon. Anyway, so it appears they're two different brands because they had them both today. But I kind of like the Snapdragon better now. So I got more Snapdragon apples and I bought some from my mom. I also picked up some blueberries for her, which I was able to get a pint of blueberries for $3.50, which is not really that great of a deal. Then you guys saw in my last video, I hauled these uh, crunchy wheat rolls. They were running out of these. These are $2.49. And as I told you before, there are no fat, no sodium, no cholesterol, and vegan. I picked up two, three, four, 
because there's not a whole lot of healthy snacks or like, you know, diet, diabetic and dietetic friendly options left. Then I was in the deli section, which I should have gotten some deli meats, like some turkey and stuff. I'll probably have to go back tomorrow. Anyway, I, it was ridiculous the amount of money I spent on food today. Ridiculous for one person. Um, so I was in the deli section and these were $6.99, which is really expensive. Um, so they did have some sugar-free almond cookies and I just could not resist. And I like to have a dessert after uh, dinner. So one or two sugar-free cookies is a sufficient dessert for me if I'm not having apples or yogurt. So as I told you in my previous video, I really don't buy sugar-free cookies that often. And I'm this is a warning out there to diabetics who may not know this and buy sugar-free items, especially chocolate. Um, so sugar-free stuff is usually made with a replacement uh, sugar alcohol, sugar derived from alcohol. And you can tell because you'll read the ingredients and the ingredient will end in an OL, like malitol is a popular one. So this one, this has sorbitol, which is a sugar derived um, from alcohol. And it's undigestible for most people and can cause gastrointestinal distress, which is my polite way of saying it will give you diarrhea. Um, so they tell you that actually on there. These people that make this, um, as opposed to the Vortman brand that I bought the other day, this actually says excessive consumption may have a laxative effect. So I know what I'm talking about, people. How many calories are this? is this? It's 140 calories a cookie. Jesus. Okay, so there's that. Then I bought more of... I know I told you guys that I don't drink a lot of this because what I do is uh, I pour a little bit in my water bottle and then I add water so that my water has some taste to it. Yes, I could do fruit infused water, but I'm lazy. So I put a little bit of this in the water and it gives it some taste. And this is the Turkey Hill Diet Decaf Orange Tea, which they still had a sale on three for five. So I picked up another three. Um, this is an acquired taste. Uh, I don't think a lot of people would like orange tea. Um, this is 15 calories, but it's per serving. There's five servings in here. So it's not a whole lot of calories. And like I said, I dilute this and um, zero fat and zero, oh no, two sugars. This has got two grams of sugar. I did not know that. So it's a good thing that I dilute this and I'm going to have to dilute it even more now that I read that. So I had picked up this and another one. And another one. And I'm going to get to the giant bread soon, which I want to talk about. So, yeah. Then, Dr. Brown. So, let me tell you about Dr. Brown. I don't drink soda. I don't particularly like soda. Uh, when I do drink soda, I drink diet soda, of course, because I'm diabetic. But Dr. Brown's, I think they make like a chocolate soda. But they didn't have that one. Um, but they did have the diet cream soda. So I picked up a diet cream soda because I haven't had soda in forever. And if I'm not going to be able to get stuff um, due to shortages, maybe, who knows with this whole thing, um, I picked up a Dr. Brown's soda. Then I got paper towels. My mom has a stockpile of toilet paper, so I don't have to worry about that. They did not have toilet paper at the store. I thought I bought two rolls of paper towels. I could have sworn I did. I know I did buy two rolls of paper towels and I don't know where the other one is, if it fell out in the car or where the hell it went. So I got a roll of paper towels for a dollar. 
They did not have a whole left, a whole lot left. Um, I really don't know where that other roll of paper towels is. That's gonna bother me. Um, and my store, like I said, we have the paper, the not the paper bag bin, the plastic bag bin, but that kind of went out the window. Oh, and then I bought. I bought four more cans of tuna, which I'm going to have tonight for dinner. Not all four cans, but a can of tuna. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cans of tuna. So I'm good on tuna for at least nine meals, which three meals a day, that's actually only three days. But I'm obviously not eating tuna for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then, to go with the tuna, I ran out of my sugar-free... I have to get sugar-free jelly or sugar-free preserves. Sometimes I get blackberry preserves. Sometimes I get uh, the actual just sugar-free jelly. Um, but I got this last time and I got it again. And this is expensive. It's like $4. This is the Polliner... Polliner? Polliner sugar-free with fiber blueberry preserve. So I have the blueberry preserves with peanut butter. Now I get the, normally I get the reduced fat peanut butter, uh, but I'm kind of running low a little bit. And I don't know when they're ever going to get peanut butter again. And all that they had left was like the super, um, expensive fancy organic natural peanut butter for like $13 for a little container and then they had a couple of the um I forget the generic brand the little little containers but I was able to find they didn't have any reduced fat I was able to find the last the last jar of reduced fat peanut butter the last one in the store um, but this is 20, 25% less fat, but this is, um, super chunk. I usually get the creamy, but they only had super chunk. So I got the reduced fat super chunk. Then the two good yogurts, these low sugar yogurts that I recommended in my last haul, uh, which you should go watch if you didn't see it. Two good yogurts. I still have a couple left in the fridge when they were 10 for $10. Now they're three for $4. So I got three of the mixed berry. And now I think it is about time to get to the giant bread. So I went to the store, like I said, this morning, and they only had raisin bread and those, I know, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your face. My eye is itching me. I'm going to wash my hands. So you only had raisin bran, raisin bread and rolls. Now they got in bread. They had white bread, wheat bread, and like a multigrain, but not just any bread. They, and they won't tell you this in the supermarket that I go to. They're not able to get, I don't think they're able to get brand name bread anymore. Um, so all that they could get is locally, super locally produced bread. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's damn expensive. So they have these gigantic, I don't know if you could tell, this is a gigantic, gigantic loaf of bread. And they were selling these for $5 a loaf. This is a big ass loaf of bread. Okay. But this is, and I've never seen this bread before ever. And of course it's, it's good to uh, support local businesses, but this is, I'm going to read it to you just in case you can't read it. It says Smith street handmade and all natural in Brooklyn, New York. So Smith street bread company. That's super local. That's right in Brooklyn. Super local bread. For $5 a loaf. 
okay? The thing that I didn't notice, about, okay, two things about this bread, and I'm going to call them because there's a phone number on here. Okay, it smells really good. I want to try it with my tuna tonight. Two things. It has no expiration date on it. I asked the sales clerk. I asked my fellow shoppers. Nobody could find an expiration date on any of the varieties of this bread, which is the only bread that they had. And it has a little tie there. And I'm used to bread having, being in a, you open it and then it's sealed again. But this, you just open it and there's the bread. It's not sealed twice. And then I was a little bit worried about that. But then I said to myself, this is not, the rolls are not sealed twice. So anyway, I bought a loaf of this bread in the wheat for my mom and I got myself because I don't know when it when bread is coming back. This should be the thumbnail. Please, YouTube, make this my thumbnail so I don't have to do a separate screen capture. Okay, so I got two loaves. I spent $10 on bread. Two loaves of this gigantic, gigantic, locally produced, right here in Brooklyn, bread. From the Smith Street Bread Company. So I'm hoping it's good because it smells really good. And it feels and is like, it feels like homemade bread. Like it's a really, like you could tell that they bake this loaf and it's like there's thick slices and oh my goodness. So yeah, I never thought that I was going to, if I was going to splurge or rearrange my budget, that it would have to be on groceries. Like I usually buy very, very little groceries. I buy groceries for two, to last me two days or to last me three days because I never know what I feel like eating and, or what I'm going to be in the mood for. And I don't want the food to go bad. So I, and I don't know when I'm going to just like be working late. And so I'll just get takeout or whatever. Um, I never buy this much food, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it's a lot. This is a lot of food. Um, and plus the stuff that I picked up for my mom. So this is a whole bunch of food. I don't know how long it's going to last me. Watch, I'll be the only person to get fat during a pandemic from having too much food. Yeah. So... But I could, you know, I don't want to say could live forever, but I could live for a while on my tuna and my gigantic bread and my peanut butter and sugar-free preserves and my cereal that I got, which I'm running low on. I should have got another box of cereal, but it's not $5 anymore. This was $5 last week. Now it's $7 for the family size Cheerios. That's why my mom didn't pick up anymore. And I have apples and all this kind of stuff. And I'm still working on my bag of Snapdragon apples from my last haul. Oh, I just, oh my God. I'm going to stretch for a second. Oh. These are strange times. I made sure when I got up this morning that the first thing that I did was go to the gas station, fill up the tank with gas, go pick up my laundry just in case they shut down laundry mats, which they say they won't, and head to the grocery store for a couple of quick essentials and made sure that I had my meds, which I picked up last night, made sure my mom had her meds and made sure she had a couple of essentials and then made sure that she had uh, some grocery money to go to the store this afternoon because I told her, don't wait for me. Normally, I would take her shopping and everything because this store does delivery. They do food delivery. So, because uh, she, she's older and she's disabled. So, she can't, I mean, she's she's disabled. I don't want to say she's like super disabled. She's not. She, she can take the bus. She can get around. But she's, she's older. She's over 70. She walks, 
with a cane. So she can go to the supermarket, she could take the bus, but she obviously cannot carry a whole ton of groceries home with her and she doesn't drive. So normally I always take her grocery shopping. We always go grocery shopping together and I'm more than happy to help my mom because she's wonderful and I love her to death. Um, so I would take her shopping, but I told her, I said, listen, I saw the situation this morning. Do not wait for me to come home from work because there may be nothing left or nothing that you want left. So I said, go this afternoon, get out of the house, get some fresh air and go see what they have and get what it is that you want and that you need. And then I told her, if you forget anything or they don't have any, um, a certain thing that you want, write it down and I will go after work and I will see if they have it in. And so that's why I was able to, she had forgotten the apples. She didn't check for the blueberries. Uh, they didn't have any, they didn't have this ginormous, ginormous, ginormous bread when she was there. I feel like this bread weighs like a pound. It's so heavy. It's like, I, I cannot, I'm like obsessed with this bread. It's so enormous. It's just like, ah. Uh, Anyway, made sure she had the bread and all that other stuff. So, I am just exhausted with this whole coronavirus thing with the news and being bombarded with it. But you have to keep up to date with all the latest updates, you know, because you, you have to know to be prepared and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just like fried out on it. It's not... It's not even like, like last time I said, it's kind of like when you prepare for a snowstorm, but a snowstorm, you know, it lasts a week and then it goes away. This is not going away anytime soon. They're talking about it going into the summer. And so you're just bombarded with all this news from every direction. And then like, I know I, like I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning and I think I dreamt it and life is normal again. And then I remember, oh, I, I got to deal with this crap again. I got to make sure I have enough gas. I got to make sure I have enough food. I have to make sure that my mom is taken care of, which is all stuff that I normally would do, but it's more of a, I really wish that the, the, the mayor had not said, um, we're going to do, we're going to do like a shelter in place, or we may do a shelter in place because the governor says absolutely not at this point. But I wish he hadn't have said that because I think that that may have made people even more nervous, even though you could still, he said, go get your groceries, your laundry, go to the bank and all that other stuff. I'm tired of this already. I'm tired of it. I wanted to go away. Tell me what your shopping experience has been, what you got in your town, how everything is with you guys. And, oh, and I ordered, let me just add a couple other things because I know this is a super long video. Here, snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. I ordered food from him, as I always do, uh, from Chewy.com uh, because he gets the Royal Canin uh, brand food for weight management. Even though it doesn't really seem to be doing too much for him. I'm taking him for more walks. He did lose a little weight. Um, he, he hovers around 30 pounds. He should be around 20 pounds, but I think, I think he did lose a couple of pounds, but anyway, so he gets weight management food. It's expensive. It's expensive. Uh, even with the free shipping with the tax and everything for a 30 pound bag of Royal Canin weight management is $78. So I ordered it. They had it in stock. The order went through and then I got an email saying, uh, due to high volume or whatever, please expect a delay in your order. It may take five to eight business days. Usually I get it in about two days. So they said five to eight business days. So I'm glad I ordered it now because he has enough food to last him five to eight business days till we get this 30 pounds of food, which is what we always order. Uh, we always order the 30 pound bag because it just makes sense. Because if you order the next size down, you would have to pay for shipping, which would make it about the same price as the 30 pound bag. So got that. Now Bath and Body Works has closed its stores and is doing online only. I took a lot of hits on my video 
on Is Bath & Body Works taking advantage of us? I got some really nasty comments. One person said that I can't do math, I can't add, because I didn't realize that the sanitizer had gone up in price from 175 to 195. So I was doing the math right if it was $1.75, and I did not realize, because the last time I bought sanitizer, it was still the old price on it. So there's that. And then the other thing is with the gift sets that I noticed, that I didn't notice before, somebody asked me, did they, okay, so here's the thing. You, the, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but the sanitizer bundles, you can only buy one bundle of five for $8. They restricted you to one, one per order. And you had to pay shipping. But then they had these gift sets and the gift sets, you could add as many to your cart as you wanted. And the gift set had one sanitizer, one uh, body cream and one body spray. And somebody asked me if they had always had those gift sets. And I was and thinking to myself, yeah, they've always had those gift sets. But what I didn't realize until later it dawned on me is those gift sets would normally have a shower gel a moisturizer, and a fragrance spray. They took the shower gel out and replaced it with the sanitizer to get people to buy the gift set for $13.50 in order to get the sanitizer. They didn't even leave the shower gel in the gift set and add the sanitizer. They removed the shower gel and replaced it with the sanitizer. That's just, I'm not gonna say it's price gouging, but I'm gonna say that I think it's a little sneaky, just a little. This video was super long. I'm going to let you guys go. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.